10 beekeeping jobs for August. Hello, I'm Griff Reese. Welcome to Winning Griff Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, it's that time of year, the season is coming to an end, and there's a few jobs, really important jobs that we need to do this month. So, let's get on with the video. Number one, take your swarm traps in. There's not much point keeping your swarm traps out there anymore. If you are going to catch a swarm in there, it'll probably only be a cast swarm and they're not really worth um, the extra effort at this time of year to try and get them right because more often than not, they go wrong. So bring your swarm traps into the dry to store them ready for next year. Number two, now this is the exciting time. This is where we extract the main honey crop. So put your clearer boards on or take your supers off. If you're not sure how to take your supers off, watch this video in the link above so you can see three ways on how you can take your supers off. Number three, now when the honey supers are off, now is the perfect time to treat your bees for varora mites. I highly recommend you treat your bees for varora mites because the mites... They just, they just don't disappear by themselves. Yes, there are mite resistant bees out there, but in the whole, their numbers are extremely low. So I would highly recommend you treat your bees. Now, you can either go with an organic type treatment, Apigard, Thymovar, that type of treatment, or a chemical uh, like Armitraz. Both work really well. I've got some videos on my channel. I will uh, put them in the description below the video for you to see uh, how to treat your bees with those kinds of products. Number four. Now, if your bees need feeding, now is the perfect time to give them a little bit of syrup. Not too much in August because the bees can still bring the Himalayan balsam in and the ivy to fill the brood box. But if you take all the supers off and they haven't backfilled anything in the brood box, they may need a bit of feed in now. So just keep an eye on that. Monitor your hives. It's not a, a one system fits all here. I'm noticing a lot more bees this year. They've backfilled a lot of the boxes already. Keep that honey in the brood box for them. But if they haven't got honey in the brood box, make sure to give them a bit of syrup. Number five, now this month is the last chance you've got to make some splits or overwintered nukes ready for spring. Now, when you're making splits in August, I would recommend buying a mated queen in to do those splits. Even though the queen, virgin queens can still mate now, um, it's just less risky at this time of year doing a split and buying a mated queen in. Number six, now this is the time where you need to go through all your hives and fix any problems you see. Have you got a drone layer, a laying worker, a queen that's just not making it or something that's totally queenless? You've got to fix these problems right now, otherwise they will just die over the winter. How do you fix these problems? Well, you can either introduce eggs into a queenless hive Hopefully they'll make a new queen, even though this time of year it does get a bit hit and miss. You could unite them with a queen right colony or just shake the bees out and get that box in the shed nice and dry, ready for winter. Number seven. Now this is a good time to do a full disease inspection on your bees before going into winter. We're looking out for foul brood mainly or you might see high levels of chalk brood, high levels of sack brood, any kind of mild disease. Don't worry too much about them, but just make a note of them. Because if these bees are in a really bad way, uh, or they've got a, a large amount of minor disease, so you know something like sack brood, ball brood, then I would seriously consider not uniting those bees together. If something's uh, not doing quite right, there's a reason they're not doing quite right. And actually, the best thing that you can do for your apiary is not unite those bees with 
something that's perfectly healthy because you don't want to introduce uh, any disease. And same with foul brood, don't forget, if you see or suspect foul brood, that is a notifiable disease and you need to contact the bee unit straight away. Number eight, now once you extract the honey, you've got to store your supers. Now you've got to make up your mind, are you going to store your supers wet or dry? That is something up to you, there's pros and cons for the two of them. But if you are going to store them dry, make sure you put those supers back on, ideally the same hives they came off, or those supers go back on the same site that the honey came off. So it's just little something we can do to try and reduce disease. Number nine, now this is the month where we start seeing wasps and wasps will kill weak hives and freshly made nukes. They go crazy for the honey. Now I've got a video on YouTube on how to stop wasps attacking your hives. Click on the link above there to watch that video. But I would put the entrance reducers in this month to reduce the entrance that the bees have got to defend that can help massively in deterring wasps. Or if you wanted to go down the route of trapping wasps in traps, now is the time to put those traps out. Number 10, comb rotation. Now I like to swap and change some of the old black comb at this time of year, especially as the queen reduce her laying down and the end frames become empty and free. Take those frames out give them a fresh frame of foundation. Once you feed those bees with a little bit of syrup, the bees will draw that out lovely and you've got some fantastic newly drawn frames for the winter. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoy it. A lot of work to do this month, but this month is the most exciting out of all the months is when we get the honey in. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.